Hello everyone, my name is Adam Marie Pills Vox and welcome back to another Ubuntu Tips video again. Check out that playlist in the description below. You're probably tired of hearing me say it, I won't keep repeating it. In this video I'm going to show you uh, something very obvious for some, but yet, you know, newcomers may not know about. And that's how to check for program updates and actual distribution updates within Ubuntu. Now you can do this a couple different ways. The default way is to go, or the default, the, the usual norm way is to go to the terminal and type in sudo apt-git, which is aptitude git update. Type in your password, and it's going to download, it's going to search the repositories, which are just kind of the locations that it has your software information stored at, which in this new version of Ubuntu is only apparently four repositories. <laughs> um, and it will check for updates to your software, and you'll be good to go. And then to actually upgrade your software, you type in sudo apt-git upgrade and it will install all the upgrades. We're not going to do that just yet because I'm going to show you the other way. So if you go to Ubuntu Software Center and go to Updates, it will say that your software is up to date. We'll hit Refresh. Looking for new updates, this could take a while. Now I do have a brand new installation of it, so and it just kind of came out, so there may not be a whole lot of updates, but we're going to have it check here. Again, it does say it could take a while because it does refresh the whole list from the repositories and then it goes through and checks every piece of software and be like okay does this one have an update it says no so we'll verify that one more time via the command line so we'll go here sudo nope not udo sudo apt git update you yep okay sudo apt git upgrade yep says no updates available and that's it but and then you, no matter what, some some people say you should not, you don't always have to restart Linux or Ubuntu or whatever in general. I always recommend if you update software, reboot your computer. Same thing with Windows, like the, the because uh, someone, I think it was Matthew Moore, he made some videos on Linux and he showed that if he has Firefox open and uses Firefox and then goes in the command line and uninstalls Firefox, Firefox is still running. He can still use all of Firefox's functionality, and that's because it's kept in memory. So some of your even like operating system level things are kept in memory. So even if you update them, it's not live in 100% until you restart your machine. So always, and if you're using the command line, sudo reboot is all you need to start rebooting your machine. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, check the playlist link in the YouTube card and in the description below for more Ubuntu 16.04 related videos and tips and tutorials, all that jazz. And otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. I'm just waiting for that to finish rebooting because I like showing off how quick this laptop reboots, especially compared to my desktop, which could take like 15 minutes for a full boot cycle. Boom. On my screen, I'm on the desktop. On your screen, I am not. Elgato's not cooperating, but okay. Whatever. Thank you for watching. See you next time.